Hey everyone, I'm back with another video, this time on the history of the Ezekiel Choke. Along with my breakdown videos, I'm going to be doing a lot more history videos, whether it be on important figures, techniques, or old stories involving jujitsu. So stay tuned and enjoy. The Ezekiel Choke is a common grappling submission, applied by essentially trapping your opponent's neck between your forearms, and through the use of gripping your own gi sleeve, utilizing leverage to compress the carotid arteries and or trachea. The story of how this choke got its name goes back to the late 1980s when a judoka named Ezekiel Paraguasu from the Brazilian national team visited the gym of Carlson Gracie in Brazil. With his arrival came a submission that none of the students at the gym had ever seen before. And so as fate would have it, the choke would come to be known as the Ezekiel choke after the man himself. Funny thing was that according to BJJ Hero's website, Ezekiel wasn't even aware that there had been a choke named after him until 19 years after training at Carlson Gracie's gym. Turns out he had moved to Switzerland and it was only when he returned to Brazil while at a BJJ tournament coaching a student, the opposing grapplers coach yelled, do the Ezekiel choke. Ezekiel may have been the one to popularize his submission, but it's no secret that he wasn't the creator of it. In fact, it's well known that the origins of the submission trace back to judo, but exactly how far back? Although the martial art of judo was well known for its extensive practice of throws, it is actually the foundation of the ground fighting we see in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu today. More specifically in the Newaza, which is the ground technique subset of judo, lies many submissions preceding the creation of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, such as the triangle and the armbar. After having heard the story of how the Ezekiel choke got its name, but not much else prior, I wanted to do some digging and see just how far back I could pinpoint its origin. From what I could find, the earliest evidence of this choke is shown in this instructional, titled The Essence of Judo, released in 1955 by the man considered to be one of the greatest judokas ever in Kyozo Mifune. A student under the founder of judo, Keino Jigoro, Kyozo led a long and highly regarded career and achieved Kodokan 10th Dan, which is the highest rank in judo. It was later in his life in 1955 that he would go on to release the instructional video titled The Essence of Judo, as mentioned earlier, and soon after, his book, which is regarded as a classic, The Canon of Judo. Luckily, I was able to find a PDF version of his book, which I'm pretty happy about because it's quite expensive. Here on page 141, we can see the images of the Ezekiel, or at least a version of it, being performed. He refers to this north-south version of the Ezekiel as Hasamijimi. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Although it is primarily referred to in Judo as Soreguru Jime meaning sleeve wheel constr constriction. Along with the demonstration of the first Ezekiel ever being performed on camera, Kyozo Mifuni's The Canon of Judo does not stop there with its groundbreaking content. Amongst the numerous principles, lessons, and techniques is a section on general resuscitation. In between the breathing resuscitation and drowned body resuscitation methods is something I, or as it appears even Google, has never heard of testicles <laughs> resuscitation yep just when you thought you've heard it all ow definitely worth a read the links to both the full-length instructional film and book by kyozo will be in the description if you happen to have any information referring to the ezekiel choke that is even older than kyozo the canon of judo book i'd love to see it i hope you enjoyed this video on the history of the ezekiel and if you want to see more content like this let me know in the comments below Please like and subscribe.